Hello YouTube, doing a quick video here on uh, rewiring this barber shop. You can see, you got one, two, three, four outlet boxes. That one doesn't count. And then rewiring one of those, the other one's empty. What we had originally was a bunch of stranded wire. Uh, I think it was five runs of stranded wire with no ground. They used the box basically as ground going back to the panel through the conduit. So now we've got four 20 amp circuits feeding these four outlets. Uh, each box is 20 amps in each side. So that's a pair of wires right there. Same ground going through all of them. One that goes back to the panel. And then this one just goes to the other outlet on that side. So, no ground faults before. Yeah, they had no GFIs before. So, here's all these wires coming out of this box. What I did is uh, I couldn't find, I could only find those covers and then two with the decor for GFIs. So, what I had to do was put two GFIs in one box and then run the load wires going to the next box. So, these two will be two GFIs here, two not GFIs, but they're protected and then the same on the other sink. So, definitely a lot better than before. That's the load wires. Kind of ran out of room, so we're often having to uh, borrow the common wire, which isn't really a big deal, because they've still got you know, one supply and the other two down there. A lot better than what they had before, which was uh, one common wire supplying for 20 up outlets or 420 amp circuits actually which was eight outlets and uh, they had no ground so <laughs> definitely a lot better now plus with the strand of wire it just doesn't carry the load very well so I'm surprised this place didn't burn down already <laughs> here's basically what was before Let's see if my camera focus on that there we go stranded 12 gauge and then they just ground that right to the back of the box and hope that that was good enough. This one, they knocked it out and left the hole right there. Didn't use it for anything. And then this one down here goes to the back room. And then uh, they just cut the conduit in midair. Is there a flashlight back here, really? Oh, actually, I can see in there. I have no clue what all the... Uh, <laughs> Kind of it up there goes to yet. But there's a piece of kind of come out up there that goes uh, to one of those outlets I showed you before. And then here's what's going on in the breaker panel. <clears throat> you can see they did something, pretty sure it's highly illegal <laughs> to uh, stick two wires in their one circuit breaker. And especially with that strand of wire, it just doesn't. Uh, <laughs> doesn't hold up too well. There's, what is it? 120, 240 volt. Okay, that's the air conditioner, circuit breaker. And they still use stranded wire for that. This place was built back in the 80s. I'm surprised on that one. There's the ground. That's all it is. And then here for all the commons as you can see they didn't stick them all on the same rail they stuck some down here and then some up on this rail which we'll fix that up later use tap gun screws going through looks like almost like a metal stud yeah I think this place is metal studs and then that's all all my wires come out right there <clears throat> all those boxes which is quite surprising no wonder why they ran out of room for wires this is basically a more updated uh, switch box <laughs> they use new scotch locks on it but it's still really uh, <laughs> really bad they still stuck with the strand of wire and uh, one of these pulled on it and I have no clue where it goes to, so I gotta figure that out. That's for the light in here. Which is that. 
one is a 36 inch fluorescent tube goes up that's a junction box that goes to an outlet out there and then it goes right down the wall and my flashlight just cramped out but yeah still quite a bit of a mess down here <laughs> so take you in in the next room in a little bit and uh, show you what feeds this whole place back again here I just wanted to uh, go ahead and, and show basically what I was starting off with uh, I got into the switch box and replacing the switch and it's at a real low height there's the floor it's actually that outlet height for homes um, yeah two wires <laughs> this is your power in well I don't actually know which one's power in I'd imagine the red one and this is probably return maybe not no ground that's that's it just two wires and they didn't even bother to ground it to the back of the box like they did in the other ones so well thanks for watching well it's a bit dark I don't really have a light to use as I've got everything turned off even the main command um, that's what I had to do for the ground that white one that comes into this bus bar the bottom bus bar is the common and they use that cheap flimsy ground wire command from who knows where to try and ground the panel and I don't know what all those just those go to the air conditioner those red and blue ones and this is, is pretty poor I think we'll uh, be rewiring the rest of the panel soon definitely get that replaced because there's about six wires wire nutted in there together so the power comes down and goes into here I guess and I think it goes up through that piece of conduit to that outlet goes up feeds who know uh, well actually I know what it is feeds the hot water tank which is electric there's all your shut offs there's your furnace and the other piece of conduit goes all the way across and feeds the furnace well that is bad work <laughs> let's see if we can see up there stand the camera there's a little piece of conduit coming through and it almost looks like they used coaxial or something and then it, you can see that's all concrete wall block I don't know what that is Quite a bit of a mess. <laughs> Still have a lot to do. Another quick video. There's the meter. You gonna go turn it on me? It just clicks up. All the way to one, I think, 500 amp. Those are actually caps. <laughs> Bastards. This is one by itself? Yeah, you push it up. There you go. That's all you have to do. It's back on. Then down here they had a ton of... Let's see if I can show them. <laughs> Take a quick walk. Tons. Hundreds of circuit breakers. All for just one store. <laughs> oh, they have some breaker on too? There's how tall the panels are. Bottom one. What bottom one? That bottom one. So this one goes on? Yeah. Well, that's all the, the stuff I've done so far. Yeah, lights, lights. Lights, Two lights. GFIs. Two not GFIs and then two GFIs. But those are all GFI protected. Did those have stickers on that said GFI protected? Water. Those all have to be reset. Uh, the boxes. Some of the boxes have GFI stickers. Well, thanks for watching. I think that's pretty much the. Uh, so that outlet's still working. Yeah, reset them. 
Okay. Yeah, so I guess no light. Oh, it scared me. What was that? <laughs> the cash register. Is it on? Yeah, it's on. Well, it no works. lights. Oh, well, I don't know how to. Off. It's turned off. Hmm. You'd have to well, turn you, on. you got power on that one. On your power strip. Yeah. You got power there. Yeah, the phone works. That thing's definitely going to take a while to charge. Let's see if you got power on the other side. No, I don't want to redo that again. Uh, we'll plug something in there. Well, I've got power in all of them. If not, they won't work. Try and turn the hair dryer. <laughs> I need that for my hands. Well, that makes me happy. Here, you can plug in that strand of Christmas lights. Only thing else that doesn't work is that switch right there because, well, stupid wire fell off and now that's all got to be rewired. So, at least we got some line here. I don't know what all these control. See if she blows anything. I got all three of these on. You're not going to blow anything, Dad. They're not in the same circuit. That's, I guess, one fan switch, and then that controls the lights for just one. Could you blow if you plug your razor in with a blow dryer? That's 20 amps, you're not going to blow anything. Eight amps? Yeah. No, that's the point of how I wired it, because I got 20 amps here, 20 amps there, and then 20 amps there, and 20 amps there. And... That one's tied in with that one, that one's tied in with that one. Or however flip flopped, I don't know. <laughs> but, well, at least that whole project's done. Next, I gotta rewire that outlet later. Probably those light switches, the light switch in there, that outlet up there. Maybe the outlet's in the ceiling. Pull only wire from, which is a conduit that runs all the way down to this light switch. So, thanks for watching. That sign's not too happy. <laughs> and then there's two switches right here. One that controlled a barber pole that was outside. And the other one controls the uh, uh, Walkins welcome sign up there. So, well, everything's good. <laughs> Looks pretty nice. Originally they were uh, almond colored with the same place. Thanks for watching.